Mention the words tea room to many of us and well, we conjure up visions of finger sandwiches and scones and tiny little cups of tea. Well, you can get tea at the Beacon Light Tea Room in Von Aqua as long as it's iced. What attracts loyal diners is the sumptuous southern cooking like fried chicken, country ham, red eye gravy and biscuits. What do you say we take a trip there and discover their secret? Before Interstate 40, Highway 100 was a main route from Memphis to Nashville. Then, as now, the Beacon Light Tea Room has been a roadside haven for hungry travelers. We like to make people feel comfortable and at home and give them a good meal. 20, we'll have it ready, okay? Thank you, bye-bye. Kim Wynn and her husband bought the place in 2008. And today, not much has changed since it first opened near Bon Aqua in 1936. Especially the signature biscuits, preserves, country ham, and fried chicken. These days, the Beacon Light is a dining destination, especially for folks who want to get away to the country for what's like a visit to Grandma's house. And the people. It's, it's just like family coming here. The restaurant's southern fried chicken is almost legendary, specially prepared so it's crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Now you have to cook it in a cast iron skillet. That's the, that's the secret. That's just the old time way to, you know, that we all grew up knowing how to fry chicken, you know, and that's, that's what we do here. We have skillets going all the time. Oh, and just before it's served, each piece gets a short dip in the deep fryer for a little extra crunch. You haven't uh, jumped on that uh, so-called hot chicken bandwagon yet, No, have you? no, we, we try to stay away from the hot chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other chicken keeps us pretty busy. Now, even before placing your order, you'll get a basket of Beacon Light biscuits, which garner rave reviews from food critics and customers alike. You have a special recipe for that? Oh, we do. We do have a special recipe for that. Uh, lard and buttermilk. I mean, that's what makes them. Lard and buttermilk. Lard, not shortening or vegetable oil, lard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, the homemade biscuit toppings are not jellies, not jams. It's a preserve, so it has more, more of a liquid consistency to it, and we just put the fruit in and sugar and, and just let them cook. And they're really good over some hot biscuits. And a lot of customers want to take some home. While fried chicken rules the roost on the menu, country ham and red eye gravy run a close second. In case you've never tried to cook this Southern classic, well, Kim's gonna take you through the steps. We put a little butter with the ham and a touch of hot sauce in there and you let that sear to the skillet. And then you add a coffee water mix to this and just stir it. And then you let that come to, let it come to a little boil. It, that, the boiling pulls the salt out of the ham oh, to okay. give it that flavor. And then it'll be ready for a steam, okay? And it's not just everywhere that you can go and get <laughs> country ham and red eye gravy, um, but it's 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 my favorite. If I come in in the morning or in the afternoon, evening, it's usually scrambled eggs and country ham. It goes without saying, many customers are regulars, and they don't mind the extra miles required to reach this roadside gem. We have people from all around that come to see us. They, uh, Memf Memphis, Nashville, um, several that come from even out of state when they're coming to visit Tennessee. We love the food. It's consistent, friendly. Can't get it in the city. And uh, we just love, the, just love the restaurant. We love the people. Jim Levine's a regular who loves the place so much. Well, he recorded a song about it for charity. Built in 1936 from a lot of stones and a bunch of sticks. 75 years and still is going strong. So if you're hankering for southern cooking, where every waitress is so good looking, this is just a place where you belong. 
When you're open six days a week, well, you have to put in plenty of hours of hard work. But for Kim Wynn, the happy faces of satisfied customers make it all worthwhile. I do love it. And, you know, the customers that come in here, there's so many of them that are repeat customers. And you just, you get to know them, you know. I think that's just the, the atmosphere that we want the Beacon Light to have. Under that beacon.